Hey, what's going on, folks? It's your boy, Naptown Born. Uh, I know it's been a while since I did a video, but... Shit happens. <laughs> Alright, so what happened this weekend? Um, oh yeah, here you go, Gamboa. Um, beat the shit out of Matagua, or Mtagua, and uh, Lopez beat the shit out of Lovano. Uh, was Gamboa more impressive? Yes, of course it was. I mean, it was real exciting to watch. Uh, that guy, him and, him and Lopez need to meet. But uh, for all of you who watch those two fights and are thinking about what this matchup could look like or whatever, don't don't count Lopez out and don't don't say Gamboa is going to win strictly based off of what you saw before. Everybody has had bad days. In my opinion, Kessler had a bad day with Ward. Uh, Butte had a bad day with Andrade. You know what I mean? And, and Lopez could have had his bad day with Matagua. You know, man, all, all credit to Matagua for, for fighting his heart out like he always does. But <clears throat> sometimes you just got people's number and you just got people's day on, on that particular night. So I'm not going to take the Lopez-Matagua fight and, um, and have it affect uh, a, um, a Lopez... Gamboa fight should that fight happen and should I do a prediction video on it. I did not do a prediction video on either one of these two fights. Quite frankly, I don't know much about any of the four guys. So it wouldn't have made no sense for me to get on here and uh, and talk about that. But uh, now that I've seen them and I've watched them, and uh, I'd like to see more of both Lopez and Gamboa. <clears throat> and I think Lopez is really fast, too. I like Lopez. I like watching him fight, so... Uh, that does it for that. Um, I also wanted to move on and talk about uh, uh, Mosley Berto is not going to happen now. Uh, Berto dropped out, as we all know, and uh, I think we're all pretty understanding of that. Uh, there's no reason for him to stay in this fight with all the uh, with all of what's going on down in Haiti. It's just, uh, you know, no, no. Well, I'm not going to disrespect that guy for dropping out of a fight uh, when he's had. Well, family members die so that's pretty important that's a pretty big deal and um, on a side note it opens the door for my dream match of 2010 and actually my dream match for the next couple years or until Mosley or Mayweather retires it opens the door for a Mosley Mayweather fight you know Mayweather's still looking for an opponent now Mosley's looking for an opponent uh, we know Mosley wants Mayweather we don't know if Mayweather wants Mosley but I'd like to see that fight happen they need, they need to go on and get with it. You know what I mean? I mean, to me, to me personally, it's more important for me to see Mosley fight Mayweather than it is for me to see Pacquiao Mayweather. And I know I've been saying that from, from the get-go. Anybody who's been listening to me know I've been saying that. I want to see Mosley fight Mayweather. I want to see that. For me personally, that's a bigger fight for me to watch. It's more important to me to watch Mosley fight Mayweather than it is for me to watch Mayweather fight Pacquiao. On the flip side of that, I did get really excited about Pacquiao, and I still want him to fight one of those two or both of them in the future. Um, I, can, I can see him fighting Mosley, but I don't know if him and Mayweather and their, their two controlling groups are ever going to mash it up and do a complete contract and fight it out. I don't know if that will ever happen. Uh, I want it to. But. Oh, Mosley Mayweather. No, we, it, it's all it's all speculation. Nobody said shit about it, but it does open the door. So if it does happen, um, I, I really want it to happen. So I, I really want to do a prediction video on it uh, because I will I will have Mosley win in that fight. I will. I think there's two people right now in the weight classes that can beat Mayweather, and one of them's Pacquiao, and one of them's Mosley. Do I think either one of them will kill Mayweather? No, I think it'll be a good fight either way. Um, anything else for me and Mayweather, I'm not going to buy. I'm not going to buy a pay-per-view to watch him fight Ricky Hatton's little brother. I'm not going to pay to watch him fight Pauly Malignaggi. I will pay to watch Pacquiao fight Claudi, and uh, I will pay to watch Mosley fight Mayweather. So uh, that's the update as of now. Um, I don't know what happened with the Holyfield fight. Did it get postponed? I, I want to see that too. But, yeah, I think it got postponed, and I don't really... Uh, know when the new date is, but um, I had to jump on here and do 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 a quick five minutes, y'all. I know I've been gone for a while, but the boxing scene's kind of been dead, if you know what I mean. Uh, there ain't really been that much hot topics to talk about. Whatever I had to say about Pacquiao Mayweather, I've already said. 
So uh, <laughs> a lot of people put comments on that video, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the subscriptions, and I appreciate the uh, feedback, good and bad. I appreciate it all. Um, uh, I'm 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 glad that I got um, a group of uh, good subscribers that seem to come back, keep coming back on my videos and and debating and um, making points and making comments. I appreciate it. Now. Uh, there's other issues about my stance on the Mayweather Pacquiao thing that I'd like to address, but it's the middle of the day. My kids are out there, and uh, I don't feel like cussing about it right now. So uh, let's just say for the people who think that guys like me just come on here to talk about being having Pacquiao's back in this whole issue, um, uh, or even the term uh, Pactard or whatever, um, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> I mean, this is horse shit. If you know what I mean. Um, we're allowed. Everybody's allowed to have their opinion. If you agree with Mayweather on this issue, you're allowed to do that. Uh, me personally, don't. I don't. I don't care for him. I don't care for how he acts, and and uh, I, I blame him and his camp personally and his promotion team with De La Hoya um, for this whole fiasco. I think they knew it would end like this and uh, planned on it. So uh, that's Naptown Born. That's my quick vid on this Wednesday night. Uh, I want to do another one tonight or tomorrow. You know, I'll get around to it or whatever, but um, I can't just drop, not drop videos and leave everybody hanging forever. So um, quick update. Lopez beat the shit out of Levano. Matago got his ass kicked. And um, Gamboa is awesome, isn't he? <laughs> this is Naptown Born. Deuces.